Hello, and welcome back to this ridiculous Gmod script error. This is part two of this nonsense, and I recommend you to watch the first one. Well, without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Apparently, the first one helped some people, but others had too many corrupt and or missing files. So after the file deletion, I advise you to reinstall Gary's mod for good measure. Again, this part is not mandatory. First, make sure that your developer's console is checked by going to Options, Keyboard, Advanced, and then check Enable Console. Then X that out and hit Apply and OK. This console is a crucial element in fixing your game. Now, hit Start New Game and pick any map. For my first error, it just showed the blinking icon, and that's what some people had which my first tutorial fixed, but others had the error so bad that it prevented them from even playing the game. The game crashes right when it's initializing resources. Then it boots you back to the beginning with a dumb website that some don't understand. But relax, it's okay. Just open the console in the main menu. I know a few of you think that it's disabled in the main menu. That's not true. One is because I'm going to open it in a second, and oh, there it goes. And two is because you need to try to at least start a single player game. The reason why that is, is because if you don't do it, it has nothing to tell you, so it won't open. If it still doesn't open, try holding down the tilde button. Anyways, you should see all these weird error messages, and all that you need to worry about is the blue and orange text, like I highlighted. Now, if you have more than you can count, just copy all of them by holding Ctrl C, and I'll tell you why later. Now, let's go to your desktop and delete those files. Now, I'm going to kind of speed up through this part, because I already mentioned it in the first tutorial. That's why I recommend you that you watch it, because I really, I went over everything in the first tutorial, so I didn't have to do it again. That's why I wanted you to watch the first one. So, go to your directory, and then it tells you in the developer's console. And then, since it's probably a lot, since you have plenty of corrupted files, which doesn't make, which doesn't let you open Gary's mod in the first place, or single player world, that's why I wanted you to copy. So, you want to like open a Word document, oops, <laughs> and a notepad, or a notepad, and you want to control V and copy that in there. Paste that in there, excuse me. And then you want to delete whatever it tells you that's corrupted. So, sharp eye, I'm deleting that. Don't need it anymore, it doesn't, it's not supported. And Slenderman, sorry Slendy, don't hurt, don't hurt me in my sleep, please. <laughs> okay, and then we don't need that anymore, so let's delete this, the rifle. And this should pre be pretty much it. So, thank you for watching, everybody. This is all you needed to do. Your Gary's mod should be running supremely, burrito supremely. And what you should do is start up Gary's mod again, or reinstall it to see if it's still working properly. And if it's and it's not, please send me a message on YouTube. I will be positive to get back to you. Thank you.